I think you're going to see uh, the U.S. economy enter into um, a recession in the next two quarters, and it's going to be a fairly significant recession. All the earnings are overstated, not overstated, the, all the, the forecasts are overstating the earnings. They're going to come down. And with that, you're going to see the S&P come down by about 30%. Same with the Dow. Um, the Fed will start to, you know, to turn it around. They will drop, but they're not going to drop fast enough. And um, in terms of the rest of the world, I think it's going to do a little bit better. And so the dollar is going to come down and gold is going to start to go up because of that. It's, you're at 100% right. Uh, when you look at the uh, indices, like the gold indices, for example, it's been flat for 10 years. So, you know, reflecting the total disinterest of uh, generalists in particular uh, for the industry. Why it's so? Uh, several answers. One, I believe, is that um, it, particularly if you're an American, the, the Dow or the S&P, uh, th there is this conception that there is a Fed put, that every time that the economy is going to kind of like start to fall apart, that the Fed will just cut interest rate and everything will be good again. So that, I think, has been one of the main factors where why do you need to invest in gold? Because the dollar is strong. When the dollar is strong, you don't need gold. And you um, just ignore the entire sector. What's going to change, to my mind, is that I think that the S&P is overvalued by 30%. I think that in the next you know, six months, you're going to see the S&P and the Dow go down by 30%, and yet the gold equities are not going to do that because they carry dividend yield that are going to keep them there because at 1850 gold and at $4 copper, the industry is doing quite well. Thank you very much. Pierre Lasonde, Chairman Emeritus of Franco Nevada and CEO of Firelight Investments, predicts that the stock market will drop by 30% in 2023 when the United States faces a severe recession. According to Lassonde, inflation will reach 10% by 2026. Thus, he plans to invest in commodities like gold and silver in anticipation of a price increase as demand increases. We have also covered his outlook for gold, de-dollarization, and top stock picks in the gold mining industry. So make sure to stick around to the end of this video so that you don't miss anything at all. Richard Hart the founder of Hex is going to make a bold declaration concerning Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies regarding what will happen to Bitcoin in the year 2023. The announcement will focus on what will happen to Bitcoin. By the way, if you're interested in learning about DeFi and discovering innovative projects, you may want to check out our Master in DeFi course. It's designed to help you understand DeFi in a fun and easy way with lessons that you can access immediately. Right now, we're offering a special launch discount of 90% off. This course will also give you the skills you need to make the most of Pulse Chain when it's released. If you'd like to learn more, just click on the link in the description and become a true cryptopreneur. Now, without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. What is the economic outlook of Pierre Lawson, of where we are headed? I think what's happening right now is that over the past five years, both Washington and the Fed have created extremely loose you know, monetary condition. So they've created a runaway freight train. Now the Fed is trying to put the brakes on that freight, the freight train, and they started slow. And now they're seeing that the end of the rail is coming and then they're really like squeezing and you're seeing the spark starts to fly under the train, like, you know, the, the picture of that. Um, and um, who can afford a 7% mortgage rate? Who can afford a car at 10 or 12% interest rate? So they are going to kill the real estate business, the, the car business, they are the two biggest businesses in the United States. So what do you think is going to happen to the U.S. economy? They're behind. They're, they're like, you know, a year or two behind. And uh, they're going to stay behind too long. And at the end of the day, they're going to, uh, you know, because 
it took a, think think of mortgages. It, it, five year mortgages they roll you know one every twenty percent a year. So it's going to take a year or two before it really starts to bite. Then it's going to bite really badly. Pierre Lasande thoughts on gold performance in twenty twenty three. Um. Yeah. Yes and no. I would have expected a lower gold price to be honest with you, because gold doesn't like recessions. Okay, every time the U.S. goes into a recession, the gold price or the world actually goes into a recession. Don't forget that half of the gold is bought, physical gold, it's bought by people for jewelry, for, you know, like, and that market is your floor. And in a recession, that money disappears. And what saved gold in the, in the last year? Central banks. Central banks came there and they put their hands out and they give it to me. And they took 25, 1,200 ton, which is a third of all the mine production in the world. I mean, that is mind boggling when you think about it. Yeah. It, is, it, it would be lower right now if it wasn't for the central banks. And that's mostly because of recession concerns. That's correct. Yeah. But if it stays at these level, coming out of the recession, I would expect 23 to 400, to 2400. A lot higher. Pierre Lissanda share his valuable thoughts regarding day dollarization and monetary reset. It's pretty simple. The U.S. has been weaponizing the U.S. dollar for the past 10 years. And there is a side of the world that is saying enough is enough. Like, you know, we don't want to get caught or we don't want to get ruled by the U.S. on a worldwide basis. So particularly China, but Russia, and some India, some of the other countries are in the process of creating a dual system of payment, of currency uh, to counteract the, uh, the US dollar. And so these central banks are buying gold as a reserve currency. Will they use gold to back a new currency? We don't know, possibly, or a basket of currency. We don't know. Will they use a a crypto kind of currency backed by the Chinese government? We don't know. What I do believe, though, is that at the end of the day, you will end up with a dual world in terms of system of payment and the, the, uh, the currency you pay. And that's not good for the dollar. That is not good for the dollar. It's definitely I think they will. I think they will make it work. You know, the, the U.S. has push just too much okay like you know they want to be the, the the big brother for everybody well some of them are saying like you know goodbye i i don't need that uh and i don't want my asset to be caught up by the u.s regulations i don't want to be accountable to the u.s treasury uh we're a sovereign country and um if I buy a barrel of oil from you, I don't want to have to pay it in U.S. dollars. I want to pay it in gold. I want to pay it in uh, yuan or any other kind of currency. And I don't want to go through your SWIFT system because I don't want to get caught in your regulations. So will this happen? 100%. How? Still don't know. But I think in the next five years, you will see a dual system of payment and currency. Within the next five years? Yes. So what would that mean for the dollar then? I think that, you know, what's precipitating the, the five years is essentially the Russia-Ukraine war. And because Russia can't sell anything, but can sell um, oil or, or gas, and it was all U.S. base, and it's all caught in the SWIFT payment, and the, the Chinese and the Indian, they love the Russian oil. So how are they going to pay for it? So this is what's precipitating the movement. What's going to happen to the dollar? It's going to go down. How much? Don't know. But to my mind, over the next five years, you will see $2,300, $2,400 gold because of that. Time, as Richard Hart puts it, is the most precious commodity. So one should use it wisely. I'm a fan. Yeah. As you, as you should be. I think we all are. I mean, what's the money? Because when I go to sleep, access is still working. Everything I'm doing works while I'm sleeping. There's not a single thing I actually have to do. Everything's on autopilot. Um, I guess my employees like paid occasionally, so maybe that's not autopilot. Tom, but almost Tom everything. Again. Almost so, everything. So back to the financial education, because I feel like you were about to really simplify it for everybody. I, I think you're going to waste your time thinking that you're smarter 
becoming an armchair hobbyist at speculation or charting or economic theory. And all those guys are broke and it's a waste of your time. What's the better way? If you study, if you study fuel injection, you're not going to be a better race car driver, period. If you study financial theory, you're not going to be a better speculator, period. So the truth be told, the way that you get rich today is to buy the best performing asset class that's ever existed, which is cryptocurrency. I'm a big fan of my projects. I think my projects are amazing. If you don't like my projects, Ethereum's cool. Go for that. Um, and so the, the more money that you put into buying the dip, I mean, you've got right now, Ethereum went from 88 to 5,000 to 880. Now it rests at 1,600. You can buy the dip. Now I think that it'll go lower. I, I think it'll make lower than 800. We'll see. Um, that's an 85% drop from 5,000. Would it even matter? It matters, yeah. It matters to me. Yeah, so like if you bought 100 grand in ETH today. No. You, this is you'd actually be like, that's, Yeah. That's a lot so, of ba money. so basically if you bought 880 instead of 1660. Yeah, that's double 660, the money. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have two extra returns. And then the, then the thing is like, but it scales. So like if the price goes up 100x, now you'd have 200x instead of 100x. Richard Hart's goal is to make the world a better place for everyone. I mean... It's, I don't think there's anyone else like me in the world. It's so easy to categorize people usually. Yeah. So it's like, here's the guy that really cares about decentralization, really cares about his fellow man. All my first YouTube videos were just me trying to teach you how to give a better apology, have a better relationship, be happier, right. gamble less, drink less, don't play poker. Like don't, don't play grinding video games. Like I doing everything I can to make people's lives better. Cause I was already retired in 2003. So I've been retired 20 years. And so I was just trying to make the world a better place. And then I, you know, mined Bitcoin at 50 cents. And then I made my own cryptocurrency that went on 10,000 X. And then I predict the Bitcoin price two cycles, 2017, 2021, call the top on the day. And, and then I predicted Celsius was going to fail and that you should remove your money from it years before it happened. And I just keep hitting home run after home run after home run after home run. And eventually people were like, ah, this is weird. They shouldn't be able to do all that stuff for right. you know and then he's also social and he can twerk right. and he can do pull tricks i can do pull tricks i can twerk can you can any of you guys do that no you can't i can do it you can't do it i'm the world's largest diamond do you own it no i own it there's only one i own it you don't own it right like the list is weird it's a it's a weird list so i i have i installed a toilet for my mom last week two toilets two to two bidets 30 minute video you can watch it on youtube or not on youtube on insta you can watch me install a bidet from opening the package and reading instructions to doing it. Yeah. Who does that? Nobody does that. Are you in agreement with the views expressed by these experts? Tell us in the comments. We hope we were able to provide some value and helped you to move a step ahead in your crypto journey. Be sure to check out our crypto brand called Cryptopreneur and get yourself the highest quality crypto merch available right now on the market and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our content. Till next time, goodbye.